Absolutely. Cities all over the world are fighting to increase the quality of life. Uh, as urbanization takes hold, as more and more people choose to live in cities, uh, cities uh, make the choice to increase quality of life by lowering emissions, reducing traffic, uh, and, and uh, frankly also putting hurdles to car ownership in the cities. Milan has taken big steps towards that already by being one of few cities uh, or among the first cities to uh, have a congestion charging. There will be many more cities that do that. Reduce the number of parking spots, uh, uh, increase congestion charging and costs and tax associated with owning cars and all of that contributes to a mobility revolution. A city doesn't act alone in creating a mobility revolution. A city acts together with its, uh, with its citizens, with its industry, with its companies. Um, uh, uh, the companies that are eager to embrace innovation, to uh, uh, build on new ideas. The electric mobility uh, 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 movement, if you will, means that there are a billion cars in the world that over time will need to be replaced and that's a massive business opportunity as well. Uh, so it's uh, not just money being spent, it's money being invested with fantastic potential for return. Well I don't think Italy should emulate another country. I think Italy should do it on its own way. Uh, Norway has uh, uh, made a certain choice uh, on how to promote electric mobility. Uh, Finland is uh, going a, a, in a very interesting direction with mobility as a service. London, of course, with the congestion charging, uh, has promoted car sharing uh, and promoted um, uh, electric mobility. But Italy needs to, and every city needs to and can find their own way to uh, uh, promote um, uh, electric autonomous and shared mobility.